welcome back to another video. Today, don't ask me what I'm doing because I don't really know why, but I'm going for a hike a day off the bike. So I thought it'd be a good idea to get out of the house and do a little bit of exercise. Yeah, I thought I'd head up to Macclesfield Forest and do 10k of hiking um, and hopefully get a nice view at the top of Shuttingslow, I think it's called. Got a fair bit of elevation before we get there. Hopefully it'll be a nice walk and uh, take you a long way. There's a little bit of a story behind why I'm actually doing a, a hike. I'm actually doing a little bit of justice to um, one of our team sponsors, Dare to Be. So Dare to Be usually do our casual kit, but because I've been a bit short of regular clothing and uh, I've spent most of my life in our team casual kit anyway. We've got some Dare to Be stuff sent out and they sent me some uh, some nice kit which is made for the outdoors so I thought why not get outdoors and give it some justice so yeah I hope you enjoy this video. A little bit different to uh, exploring on a bike but yeah should be good. So I've just come up along here by the reservoir and then now we're just here like the main centre. I'm either going to head up this path or this path, uh, which are both pretty steep. Been down there before. And then we're going to head over there to Shutting Slow to uh, a little peak, I think. So, uh, yeah, best get over here. Should be a nice day out though. Sun's out today, not too warm. The last, uh, last week or so it's been quite chilly again, so. Yeah, it's just starting to warm up and there's going to be a heat wave at the end of this week so looking forward to that but just got a, a shell jacket on just to keep the wind off my chest for the minute i'm sure i'll probably take it off halfway up the hill but yeah doing the job at the moment heading uphill already i'll see what i mean in a minute when i say it gets steep and uh, yeah excuse my hair as well if it's a mess because I've actually had a DIY haircut in the last couple of days which is uh, probably mean it's all over the show as you can see Don't touch the gates, fellas. So the top of there is actually where I'm going, but just stopped here because it's an epic view. That's the top of the Cat and Fiddle over there. And then we've got Macclesfield Forest here. Just climbed up, you can actually see Jodrell Bank just there, behind that over there somewhere is Manchester I think it's just a little bit behind that hill and yeah stunning view so I'm looking forward to what it's going to be like at the top of there let's go for it let's go up this one to be fair that looks like some sort of rock climbing expedition there so I'm just gonna crawl up a grass bank instead. And there's the top.
and uh, nice to just get out of the house really and uh, thanks to Dare to Be for, for sorting me out with some kit to kick me into gear to actually get out and uh, explore by foot rather than by bike for a change so um, yeah thanks to those guys if you'd like to check out the full range of Dare to Be clothing then I'll just put the website just here and they do a, a range of stuff from gym kit to skiing gear so yeah it's well worth checking out and so I think I'm going to make my way back down now and uh, yeah take in these views and enjoy the rest of the walk. While I'm here I may as well go through the, uh, the kit that I'm actually wearing today from Dare to Be so I've got the shoes on nice comfy uh, perfect for, for long walks I've done a few runs in them as well so they've been spot on and then I've got the shorts the cargo shorts I think I've got about six pockets in these so it's really handy to like keep the GoPro in, headphones in, stuff like that, and then just a nice light t-shirt to keep me cool, perfect for the conditions and perfect for this walk. Not sure where that goes, but I think you're going to go for it. A bit of off-pisting, can't go too wrong. Been a pretty nice walk up here so far, I'd highly recommend it. So I'm going back a little bit of a different way to the way I came up, just for a bit of variety. It's like, uh, it's always the same when I got on the bike, I never like to go on the same road more than once. So I'm going to try and do a bit of a loop around here on the way back. I'm just going to hack along here for a little bit and see where it takes me. Because it's just a bit boring really if you go back down the same way, isn't it? So, leaving the shutting low behind. You don't really get to appreciate the views as much when you're on your bike and going at a little bit quicker speed um, so today i've really taken in the views here and been able to enjoy it because i'm only walking about one mile an hour but yeah as you can see views are mega nice to enjoy the outdoors hopefully from here because i've got to go back down there it's all going to be downhill which is fantastic news for me because i go downhill well that's all i'm saying I don't have a clue what that bird was, but I'm sure someone might, so if you do, let me know. It's massive. Yeah. Nature at its best. Thanks for coming along for my uh, rest day hike. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Maybe not as exciting as cycling, I know, but yeah, I've enjoyed it either way. And uh, I'm going to leave you with some, uh, some nice shots of the views today that have... Uh, I've been able to enjoy so yeah enjoy them and i'll be back on the bike next time i'm sure and i'll see you guys soon don't forget to like and subscribe to the videos because that'd be great um and yeah let me know if there's anything you want to see too but for now i'll leave you with those shots and see you soon Oh Jesus, when you start running downhill and it's so steep you can't stop.